The world is very lucky to have you, and so am I. May the power protect you, always. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and whatever else is watching. My name is Nick, and I'm playing Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie. On the Game Boy. Actually on the Super Game Boy, but this game is for the Game Boy. In the last episode, I played with Aisha, the Yellow Ranger, and took down Mordant, this pig over here. Now I'm going to face off against the Tengu. Well, yeah, it's called the Tengu, and the movie is that. For this, I am using Kimberly, the Pink Ranger. And this level takes place somewhere in a mine. Um, something to note, this level ain't that high. You see spikes on top, don't jump into that. There are also bars here, but they kind of block the, well, the height of your jump. Actually, that's the roof already. And you will get more of these obstacles that actually will well, limit the height such as here the well these uh, these floors will either slow you down or speed you up in well depending on which uh, way they go these are uh, these enemies I think are called baby tango they look like little birds but well, it could be Baby Tango. Also, it's very good advice to avoid those spikes on the floor. They hurt just as much. And those things also hurt. Because they have some kind of weird laser. I don't know what exactly they are, but... Or where they come from. Um... Yeah, these enemies, I have no clue what they are, but they are pretty easy, they have a set pattern and yeah, just break them and you can continue on after a while, just don't stand in their path. Um, Next bit, this is a tricky bit. Uh, I have to dig through the dirt here, but I have to be really fast. Um, it can be the, because I'm in the mid-level boss now. I This one is difficult. I can die here a couple of times, uh, which I luckily won't. But if you see me dying throughout this uh, let's play, uh, or at least if you notice the score go down or the life bar being different or whatsoever from the previous that means I died and I had to start over at the checkpoint yes those level transitions unlike with the previous uh, game are actually checkpoints so if I die I would start over there again and not completely at the beginning of the level so now let's start digging and we will have this digging machine, this drill following us and I can tell you this guy you can't defeat, you just have to hurry up, dig through the soil and uh, maybe, well if you're fast enough, if you can keep in this rhythm, rhythm go up, hit and kick double tap the attack button then down double tap the attack button go one line more to the right double tap the attack button go down double tap the attack button keep this rhythm up and do it fa as fast as you can then you should be relatively safe and after a long time you will finally reach the end and the weirdest thing though <coughs> Oh boy. The weirdest thing, the drill just disappears. I have no clue where it goes to. But then you don't have to defeat it again. 
Now in the next part as you can see there are some blue spikes so if you come close they will start dropping. And you have another one of these floors. Which the name actually kind of escapes me at the moment. Really? And I thought when I was playing this that I had to morph here, transform into Ranger before I could continue on. Actually I could have continued on because the next part is another tricky part. This is the minecart ride. You have to jump on these minecarts. You can go back and forth as long as the next minecart isn't approaching. Yes, once the next minecart is approaching you will walk off it on the road and it is an instant kill. So be wary of the next mi of the minecarts when you move. You can jump off it into the spikes actually. And it won't hurt not much it won't hurt you. It's strange, but yeah. But be wary that you don't fall off these minecarts because that is an instant death. No matter how big... Ooh, that was a close call. I started to walk off uh, there instead of jump off. Also, I had quite often that I would jump over the next minecart. And that's also an instant death. Yes, landing on the tracks means you're going to die. Now a last bit of buddies, that is, in these last bit buddies mostly are often and I'm really being playing poorly at this moment. These last bit of buddies are actually for if you still in ninjati form, then you can power up in order to transform. And now we have the Tengu. In the third season of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers these enemies also appear as foot soldiers. Although they are called Tengas instead. And well, here they are called Tengus, of course, as a reference to Ivan Ooze, because they are also made out of Ooze. They are, the Tenga is very simple, however, you do need a ranger that has quite the capacity for jumping. You have to be able to get up, well, the next platform so that you can jump over the feather seat throws. If you just jump over it or just be at the, in time at the end of the... Why didn't I jump? Be at the time uh, at the end then you can get one or two hits in on him and just keep up this and it shouldn't be... well he goes down pretty easily. Well, one little trivia fact about the Tengus is, well, they are from the movie, although they were actually cannon fodder at there, because Ivanus made several of them to chase after the rangers, and it was one of the coolest and also one of the grossest things I saw in the movie, because Ivan pulled up a lot of mucus and ooze inside and then all through his nose and I don't know what it was but it was gross and he spit it out very far and then he saw a pile a little bit of ooze or goop and it spread out and from that uh, making a larger puddle and from that rose up the tangos which he then ordered to go after the rangers who were after the great power. Which you will never see anything about or about the story of the movie in this game. But this is the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it and may I hope to see you again next time. And may the power protect you always.